Get my good side. <laughs> Arriving in the Duluth Ship Canal is the Wilford Sykes. The Wilford Sykes was built in 1949 by the American Shipbuilding Company of Lorain, Ohio. She measures 678 feet in length, 70 feet in width, and 37 feet in depth. She is powered by two 3,600 horsepower Westing Westington House steam turbine engines, which give her a top speed of 14 knots or about 16 miles per hour. She is also equipped with a bow thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The Wilford Sykes has 18 hatches on her deck, which open into six cargo holes located below deck. Each hatch cover measures 44 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 21,500 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Wilford Sykes is currently owned by Indiana Harbor Steamship Company under Cleveland Cliffs, Inc. of Cleveland, Ohio, and she's operated by Central Marine Logistics in Griffith, Indiana. The Wilford Sykes was a revolutionary step in Great Lakes vessel design when she was launched in 1949. She was the longest ship on the Great Lakes when built and has a list of firsts for a Great Lakes vessel. She was the first with a 70-foot width, first steamer built to burn fuel oil instead of coal, and the first American vessel built after World War II. She has also been described as the first modern trader built on the Great Lakes. She was named for a former president of Inland Steel, her original owner and operator. The Sykes is a rare visitor to the Twin Ports, she usually hauls limestone and other cargoes in Lake Michigan. The Wilford Sykes has a load of limestone and will be unloading at Graymont today. This is her first visit to the Twin Ports this season. If you see any crew on board, give them a big wave and welcome them to the Twin Ports.
once again, this is the Wilfrid Sykes. She was built in 1949 and she measures 678 feet in length. She's here today to unload limestone at Greymont and this is her first visit to the Twin Ports.